Miami, the magic city, and Miami Beach. Sunshine, cruise ships, ocean drive nightlife, beaches, shopping, the street art at Wynwood, and more. And there's diving. Conveniently located about two thirds along the third longest barrier reef in the world, Miami offers some of the best scuba diving on the planet. With two boat operators, eight dive shops, and hundreds of dive sites, there's plenty to keep any diver busy. Water temperatures between 88 in the summer and a mild 70 in the winter mean diving is a seven days a week, 365 days a year activity. As we head out over the ocean, we dive onto an artificial reef with two Vietnam War era M60 tanks, separated by a thousand tons of lime rock boulders. Sunk in 1994 at 50 feet of depth, after 25 years, this is an area prolific with life. They're covered in marine growth with many lobsters, moray eels, and offer an amazing diversity of fish life. This is a dive not to be missed when visiting Miami. No trip to Miami would be complete without a dive on the Neptune Memorial Reef. A truly one-of-a-kind location, this is the largest constructed artificial reef in the world. First opened in 2007, and with phase two completed in 2018, there are now several hundred memorials with the cremated remains of loved ones. The ashes are mixed with cement and can be made into a number of different shapes. There are shells, a stingray, starfish. You can even choose a sea turtle. Divers help to keep the memorials clean with a brush up from time to time. Families can choose their own personal message to be placed on the memorial. There are many species of reef fish, with the barracuda keeping a watchful eye over everything. Along with the centerpiece sculpture, there are two lions and many columns and arches to swim through. The Neptune Memorial Reef sits on a sandy area in 40 foot of water and is suitable for all levels of divers. You can take a course in fish identification with one of the local experts. There are about 1,400 different species on the reef, with over 40 species of stony coral and 500 species of fish. We're not suggesting you try and ID every one. Here come a pair of butterfly fish. The male and female look identical, and they bond for life, so more often than not are seen in pairs. But occasionally, they seem to like a menage a trois. This is a parrotfish. They have large front teeth and peck away at the reef for the algae found in dead coral and rock. Teeth go all the way down the throat to grind it all up, and they poop sand. Estimates vary on how much of South Beach is parrotfish poop. This is a surgeonfish. It has a sharp spike on each side of the tail that will give any would-be predator an instant nose job. There's plenty to do if you're a technical diver. There are over 45 documented wrecks and artificial reefs over 150 feet to explore. Each diver has enough equipment for a small dive shop. This wreck, the Cruz del Sur, is 243 foot deep. It takes over two minutes to reach. You can explore the outside, or for the brave and trained divers, there are engine rooms and holds to be explored. Even the deco stop can be entertaining with a friendly shark for company. You can even visit more than one wreck on a single dive. There are wreck trek sites, each with several sunken vessels connected by a trail of limestone boulders. This site has the Miss Carleen, an 85-foot-long shrimp boat, 
a large rock pile, and the Patricia, a 65-foot steel tug, which can all be visited on one dive. Navigation is helped by steel stakes in the sand marking the way. Want to try your hand at transplanting coral? Join the University of Miami Rosensteel School experts for a day of coral restoration. Trips are run throughout the summer months. First, get a briefing from the coral scientists before heading out on the first dive to harvest the young corals. The staghorn coral has to be carefully selected to avoid inbreeding once transplanted. The sprigs are grown on Christmas tree-like structures and harvested before being taken out to the natural reef for transplantation. After harvesting five or six sprigs, the boat heads out to the natural reef to plant the baby corals. Most divers manage between five and ten transplants during the trip. Not a certified diver yet? Take a dive class with one of the local dive shops. It's three days for the open water class, or enjoy a one-day discover scuba diving experience with a certified instructor. Start with a session in the pool with the instructor, followed by two days of diving in the ocean for the open water certification. For the one-day experience, start with the pool in the morning, followed by diving in the ocean during the afternoon. And while you're here, catch a lobster for dinner. Lobster season is from August 6th to March 31st. They're quite agile and tricky to catch. All lobsters have to be checked in the water for legal size, three inches measured across the top of the carapace. Hunters have to have a Florida fishing license and must carry a measuring gauge with them while hunting. Any females with eggs must also be released. Or help us with our lionfish problem. Lionfish are an invasive species and may be hunted year-round without restrictions. Be careful of the venomous spines once the spines are removed, the fish can be eaten. They have voracious appetites and consume dozens of organisms in one feeding, drastically reducing other fish populations and altering delicate reef ecosystems. In addition, lionfish can lay up to 30,000 eggs every four days. You can take a lionfish containment specialty course with one of our local dive instructors. Learn about lionfish and their habits, how to use the spear, and how to avoid getting stung when storing the captured lionfish in the special keeper device. They can swim quite quickly, but not for very far. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get one. They're often served in the local restaurants. So come diving with us in Miami and enjoy all we have to offer. For more information about diving in Miami, visit any one of the local dive shops.